Hi there Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm about to do your weekly love reading for November 13th through November 19th. Now this is intended to be a love reading, we will see what comes up. I just want to let you know that this may not resonate with you, okay? It may not because this is not a private reading. This is a general reading, okay? So for many of you it won't resonate at all, for somebody it's going to, okay? I have pre-shuffled, so I feel like it's time to stop. This is for the sign of Capricorn. I will zoom this in correctly when I get done laying out the cards. The basis of your reading is the Ten of Wands, so that tells me that there's something heavy. Somebody is carrying around something heavy that needs to be let go. Now, I don't know if that's you or the other person that you're thinking about when I'm giving you this reading, but somebody is carrying a heavy load, all right? And it's causing them a depression. It's causing them illness. They may even, you know, be feeling sick, okay? It's causing anguish stress which can make you feel sick i mean somebody could be feeling ill okay so i really feel like many of you whoever's watching this really have to let something go because it's really not serving you in a good way all right we're gonna fix this right up sorry about that um okay so, um, we do have that uh, it's time to start over. It's time to start something new. Uh, broaden your horizons. Don't quit. Don't give up. Um, keep building the foundation that you've been building. Uh, it feels like you've been working hard on something, but you're still feeling insecure. Good luck is on the way. Do not give up. You are making progress even if you don't see it, okay? Um, you're about to start a new phase of your life, so don't give up. Don't give up. Whatever needs to let go, let it go. Just let it go because when you let that go, it shows that you are in control. When you're able to let go of something that no longer serves you, it proves that you are in control of, of your wishes, your desires. You're, you're in control when you're able to let go, okay? I feel like many of you are going through a period of soul searching, all right? And, and I think it's serving you well, okay? I feel like um, there's happiness and contentment on the horizon. Now, this is on the horizon. I, can fe I feel that your wishes are going to be fulfilled in the very near future. Something that you've been wishing for is going to come true. That doesn't mean that it's this is a fairy tale and you're going to live happily ever after. That's not the case. Something that you have been waiting for is on the horizon. And I think you've learned something big. And it has to do with being in control. Being in control of your emotions. And letting being so much in control that you can let something go. Okay? When you can actually let something go, you are in control. Believe it or not. And that's a big lesson. When, the lesson here is that is letting something go. This is a lesson. When the world card comes out, it means that you've learned a big lesson. And the lesson is letting something go. <laughs> okay. So something that no longer serves you, that's just making you, bringing you stress. All right. Whatever this was made you feel insecure. And you weren't following your inner guide by, by hanging on to it. And I think now you are. Now you're listening. You're not going to be manipulated. You're not going to be taken advantage of. 
your happiness matters and for some of you you are in a relationship that you it's a soulmate okay I just have to tell you that for somebody somebody is with their soulmate because this is the Emperor and this is the Empress okay so somebody is with their soulmate this is like a power couple okay they're meant to be together so somebody is with their soulmate and this isn't for everybody okay because I see that some of you are going through a big struggle right now that's evident so this is for hundreds and thousands of people so bits and pieces may resonate over here and not over here and vice versa okay um, so Anyway, I think that many of you have d went, done some soul searching, you've went through a period of healing, you're still healing, and you're going through a period of renewal. There's a, there's a big renewal here for somebody. I don't know who it is. It's like a rebirth. You're, you're going through a transformation. You did it. You did it. You put yourself um, in control, in control of your thoughts, in control of yourself. You didn't let nobody take over. And steal your joy, steal your happiness. Okay? I don't know who that's for, but that is for somebody. I feel like there's an unexpected choice in love for somebody. I don't know who it is, but we have the lover's card right up here. This lover's card signifies um, perhaps a new love coming in for somebody that they don't expect. Okay? This is an unexpected choice in love where this person doesn't fit your usual um, partner. Okay, when the lover's card comes out, it's not who you expect. It's like you thought that it was um, whoever. You, ha you thought it was going to be this person, but it's not. Okay, it's not. So, um, yeah, you, some, somebody is going to get an unexpected choice in love. And the thing is, is you're going to have to really think twice about it because it's not your usual type. I don't know who this is for, but it is for somebody. I'm going to tell you who we have here. We have Aries. We have Taurus. We have uh, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. We have Taurus again. So right now, that's who we have. We have Aries, Taurus, Taurus, and Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That's who I see so far. I am going to get the next deck in a moment here. But I just want to uh, let you guys know that good luck is coming. It's your time. We have the Ace of Pentacles right next to the Wheel of Fortune. That is beautiful. Something wonderful is going to happen if it hasn't happened yet. You could be receiving a new partner, okay, because that can signify a new partner, or something new on a tangible level, okay. You could be given, you know, a gift of money or something big, you know, that's tangible, just want to let you know that something good is coming for you. It really is. But the thing is, is the, the big, really biggest deal is you've earned it. Because we have that many of you are letting something go. You're, you're releasing the control. You're just letting it go. And now, now your reward is going to come in because you're just letting it go. You really are in control when you let it go. Okay, so that's what's going on. You're honoring your truth and you're accepting the truth. And that's why you're letting it go. Perhaps, you know, your inner guide has been telling you you needed to let something go. Your intuition, you know, and now you're at a point where you're just like, you know, I'm going to let this go because happiness matters. My happiness matters. And when you do that, your vibration raises and this new unexpected choice comes in. All right. I don't know what it is. I think one door is closing so that another door can open. Okay? And it's, you have a new chapter here, a new phase of your life. You, you can check one thing off of your lessons learned list. With that wheel card and the world card, something big's been learned. And it has to do with control. Okay? I think you've let go of the need to control something. You've let something go, and now you're being rewarded for it. You're being offered a new security and a new stability because you did. You let something go. Or you're going to be because this is for November 13th through the 19th. It's a time of renewal. That's what it is. 
The Empress again. I just got done saying it's a time of renewal. Oh my, that's what the card is. It's a time of rebirth. Same thing. It's a time of rebirth. For some of you, there could be a pregnancy. I just have to throw that out there. It's a time to nurture yourself. Don't forget it. And that's what you've been doing. Your strength has been coming from your inner compassion. Okay? It has. That's where you're getting the strength to let go of the need to control. It's going, coming from within. And it's a time of either birth or rebirth or renewal, growth. Yeah, you have mastered your emotions. This is a chariot. This is this is this is a clear indicator that you are heading in the right direction. You you I don't know. Sometimes I mess it up when I hit that. You've mastered your emotions. That's, that's mastering your emotions. That's what that card is. You're making progress. You're moving forward. You're not staying stuck. All right? Your, your willpower has prevailed. Celebrate your success. Seriously. With the chariot card, in the world card, in the wheel card, in the empress cards, in the emperor card. Seriously, celebrate your success. You've learned one big lesson, and it has to do with letting go of the need to control. You've just let go, and it's bringing you rewards. You have. I think many of you have let go of... Um, the past, okay. This is this is an eight of cups. This is like a breakup card, okay. It's where you you leave the past behind and you don't look back and you don't cry over it anymore. You just if whatever hurt there was, you move on from it and you don't look back. So that's what it is. That's what you've let go of. It's like you know, I'm not gonna look back. I'm moving forward. I'm happy now. It's over. You've seriously mastered your emotions. Congratulations. I believe that the inner conflicts that you've been having are dissipating and you're feeling very comfortable. You're listening to your inner guide. You're not doubting yourself. You're very comfortable. There's no confusion. The door is closed. You realize that you're not crying over it. You've mastered your emotions. You're moving forward and it's like, okay, whatever, goodbye. I'm happy. That's what I see. I see that you are going to be rewarded for letting go of the need to control. Be prepared. You could be given something very special. <laughs> Seriously. Could be a person, a new partner if you're single. Could be. I mean, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is very, very prominent here. Very prominent. You also have a Taurus of several times, okay? Um, you have Aquarius as well. I'm just seeing who else we have. Pis we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. We have Taurus multiple times. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio multiple times. And we have Aries. And we have Leo, okay? So that's what we have for signs here. The most prominent is Taurus and Cancer. Okay, those are the most prominent. But then we also have um, uh, the other ones. Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, and Leo, and Aquarius as well. But anyway, we're not going to keep going on that. Um, I see that you guys have let something go. The need to control. You're letting it go. You're not crying over it. It's like, goodbye. No more. I'm done. And you move on. Just like that. Congratulations. You've learned a major lesson. Celebrate your success. You are going to be rewarded for, for 
honoring your soul, for doing what's right for you, doing what's right for the other person, just letting go. Goodbye. I'm moving on, and I'm going to be happy about it. I'm going to get you three of these angel romance cards because this is supposed to be a love reading. We'll see what happens. I And it is a love reading. I think for many of you, some of you that's watching this, there could be an unexpected love that comes into your life. That's your reward. You may not even think you want it. <laughs> but Because that's what happens with a lover's card. It's when you don't expect it. You know, and it's not your usual type. You weren't looking for it, and it's here. And that's what the lover's card is. And they're not your usual type. Now, this will not resonate with everybody because this reading is not a private reading. It's not just for you. Okay? Ooh, that's a good one, isn't it? You deserve love. And that's why you've mastered your emotions. You are lovable. Don't forget it. Oh, and this is what you've been doing as well. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. You have removed conflicts from your life. Congratulations. <laughs> One more. Ooh, this is a big deal. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. It is. For some of you, this is a huge factor in your love life. However it resonates with you, your love life is being affected by children. Maybe you're letting go of the conflicts for your children. You're not going to fight. You're going to let go of the need to control for them. That could be the case. I don't know. Maybe somebody's going to get pregnant because we have the Empress twice. And I said, you know, there could be a birth. You know, just saying somebody could get pregnant. Or you actually have a baby. This isn't for everybody. This card is not for everybody. For some of you it is. All right. I see that one door is closing and a new door is opening. Nines are a door closing, okay? And the time is now. The time is now. Things are happening right now. Um, I think your period of conflicts is over because you've mastered your emotions and you've let go. You've walked away from it. Goodbye. So if you haven't let go yet... This week could be the week where you just say, screw it. I'm done. I'm not going to fight about this. Goodbye. Talk to you later, Capricorn.